The ATP World Tour 250 event held in the charming town of Newport, Rhode Island, marks the tour's return to US soil after its European jaunt. It's here, within the Newport Casino, that the United States Lawn Tennis Association held their first national championships back in 1881, an event which eventually grew into the US Open. But it was the establishing of the Tennis Hall of Fame in 1954 which has since put the club firmly on the map. CEO Mark Stenning explains the event's significance. It's special because it's different. You know, it's the, the, the last remaining grass court uh, a professional event in uh, the United States. It's the last remaining ATP men's event in the Northeast. And uh, it's at the home of the International Tennis Hall of Fame. It doesn't get any better than that. We probably get the strongest field we have in the 36 year history of the event. We have 17 Olympians from 10 different countries here. We have John Isner, our, our defending champion. We've got you know, some of the best grass court players in, in the world and probably the best weather we've had all summer. A spectacular tournament, a spectacular place you know, here at the Hall of Fame and on top of that, a very awesome city. I think I played this tournament four or five times. Last year I was able to win it. I had such a great time here, such great memories from this tournament. It's just beautiful here and there's obviously so much history here at the tennis courts. And as I said before, the town is, is awesome. There's no shortage of good restaurants and it's just a great atmosphere here. And Isner, the defending champion, isn't the only American to relish playing in this illustrious tournament, which has become part of America's tennis heritage. I mean, it's a one-of-a-kind experience. Um, obviously, having, having the only grass court tournament in the States and, and having it here at the Hall of Fame is, is an experience for all the players and uh, trying to soak it in and, and, uh, and try to perform my best. Uh, Newport's awesome. It's always uh, kind of one of the one of my favorite terms to come to during the year. It's it's so small and quaint. You feel like the fans are on top of you. It's just a fun place to play, and I think all the guys look forward to coming back here. This year's Hall of Fame inductees include greats such as Manuel Arantes, Jennifer Capriati, and Gustavo Quirton. And the significance of the event is specially felt by Canada's Milos Raonic. Pretty awesome. Uh, great players have played this event, but also there's a uh, big museum, there's a big plaques, everything representing all the great things that have been done in tennis. So uh, on the off time to be able to enjoy this uh, is, is a pretty endearing and special feeling. With a host of great talent at this year's tournament, what does the defending champion see as the key to retaining his crown? So I think the person who really stays the most mentally steady throughout the whole tournament is, is going have to have a good chance to win. And on top of that, you know, my biggest weapon, my serve, it doesn't, it doesn't, uh, doesn't hurt me too much out here. So uh, I, I really rode my serve to um, eventually a, a victory here. Next week on ATP World Tour Uncovered, presented by Rio, we have the best of the action from three tournaments, Atlanta, Hamburg, and Gestart. And we join Brazil's favorite son, Gustavo Guga Curtin, as the three-time Grand Slam champion is inducted into the International Tennis Hall of Fame. Don't forget to log on to atpworldtour.com for your 24-7 breaking news and talk with us on Facebook and Twitter. We'll see you next week.